Jason Wilcox's under-18 side stormed into the FA Youth Cup fifth round after putting eight past Coventry City. It was a first-half performance to savour and Brandon Barker was at the centre of everything. The England winger took just two minutes to get his name on the score sheet after this driving run. A powerful shot was too much for Jake Richards in the Coventry goal. The boys in blue would not let Coventry settle and their high-pressing game led to City doubling the lead. Maffeo and Fernandez won the ball on the right and when Salino was found on the edge of the box, his brilliant first-time pass went to Thierry Ambrose, who made no mistake from eight yards out. Minutes later and it was three. Barker picked up the ball 70 yards from his own goal and within seconds was bearing down on Coventry's 18-yard box. Having beat three players, his left-footed shot looped over the keeper via a deflection. It was four shortly after and Barker would go from scorer to provider. Taking a short corner with Bersan Salina, Barker's left-footed cross was brilliantly controlled by Thierry Ambrose and the French forward was never going to miss. Then came the goal of the game. It's been a scintillating season so far for Barker and the wide man completed his hat-trick and made it 5-0 to City with this absolute stunner. Just after Coventry had pulled a goal back from the penalty spot, Pablo Maffeo restored the five-goal advantage when his volley made it 6-1 to the Blues. Six became seven, five minutes into the second half. Javaro Dilrosen, a half-time substitute for Barker, made it 7-1 with a fine solo effort. The former Ajax winger had a slice of luck in the build-up, but the goal was all his own making. And just like in the first half, City had an early goal in the second. Devin Kelly Evans scored Coventry second on the night, but it was eight for City when Denzil Boado rounded the keeper and kept his cool to slot home. After the game, we spoke to manager Jason Wilcox. Whilst I'm really, really delighted with the result and I'm delighted with certain aspects of our play, it's my job to make them better and uh, and I'll be racking my brains tonight in terms of how can I, how can I make them better and how can we... we uh, say in the next round play even better than we did tonight but say I think that's that's how far we've come with regards to our, our level and our our standard that you know we've got some really good players um, and we just need to keep being disciplined and keep doing the right things and doing the basics well I've worked a lot with Brandon last year and uh, he's a lad of who's got tremendous potential um, very dynamic got unbelievable pace unbelievable ability and he's also learning learning um, his role and responsibility out of possession as well. So he's maturing nicely, he's still young. Um, but when you see performances like that, it's something that is really exciting. Uh, you know, and I think when the fans come and the supporters come and they see young players coming in and playing like that, then it gives us hope for the future. And uh, the more we can get through, that's our job. We've got to keep trying to, trying to push them through and, um, you know, hopefully they get the breakthrough soon.